Hey, how's it going everybody out there? This is a quick uh, brief video here on the Nav uh, TV Nav Tools M650 GM. It's a really cool interface and uh, what it does is pretty much gets your sound straight from the tuner. There's a T harness that comes with the unit. Uh, you pretty much unplug the, the uh, factory tuner. You do the T harness and you plug the factory tuner back into this actual harness so there's no cutting, no nothing couple of dip switches we got a, a coaxial we got a digital toss link got a little um uh usb there to update the unit led indicator a couple of things you got to pay attention when installing this unit right here we got a front rear sub and center uh the cool thing about the sub is when you're using the factory stereo on one of these dip switches right here i'll, I'll do a little um i'll show you guys in a minute it will allow you to use the base uh, setting bass volume up and down as a um, hidden subwoofer control which will control this unit here uh, when you connect your amps you don't have to worry about the indicator blasting out extra loud because this unit will actually level out that uh, indicator and it will keep it from um, blasting out and sounding extra loud so here let me show you a uh, little quick uh run down on this stuff right here so i'm running on a cadillac xts and it has a dip switches there it has a t harness there for you it shows you a uh, little toss link stuff and whatnot and uh subwoofer gain there and um a couple other things and here's the actual tuner this is what's going on so this is a plug right here the harness and it has the um remote output that goes to um your amplifiers that you're going to connect I'm going to be running the Toslink cable. I believe when you use that cable, it does all these together automatically. I'm not sure if it controls the subwoofer uh, with the Toslink, but I'm going to find out. I hope it does. Here's a here's a dip switch. Here's the settings. It shows you right there. So uh, dip switch number three, OEM base adjustment control over all base frequencies, and then OEM base adjustment control sub output directly. So switching that up and down is one of those. And then we have the loudness on and off. And uh, pretty much if you check that out, a couple of information tells you what the LEDs do, how they blink or whatnot. So here we go. It's showing us uh, using factory radio. You're gonna go straight from the actual tuner straight to the unit. And uh, this, this is gonna stay connected because the Cadillac XTS has a lot of sensors and um, they actually have this amp integrated with the sensors which really bugs the, the heck out of me but hey you know what i don't have to worry about it anymore that's why i got this unit and then uh, it shows you how you can run it straight into the after market amplifier uh, if you're going to run an eq or a processor you drop it straight into there that's what i'm going to be doing i'll be applying a toslink cable straight into the actual processor from there it's going to be running to the amp and here's the specifications it tells you a little bit you know for those uh, people that like to get technical and uh, ask hey you know what's the um what's the db well it shows you right here it's 112 db you know that's something good that you want to look at and uh, it has a thd at, at minus 93 db and then a couple of the other specs 128 bit uh channel floating point you know it's, it's, this is, this is going to be really good it's going to flatten out the sound there's the actual cable that goes into the unit from the uh, t harness so this nav tv um interface is, is, is a really cool thing you know they sell them online they're on they're they're a pretty uh decent price and uh what they do it's gonna really uh benefit the sound system you can play around with it and uh do different things you can run it straight to your amps or you can run a, a processor so um first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run it to to my amplifiers and kind of play around with it listen to it for a little bit and then i'm gonna run the toss link on it and uh see how it goes thanks for watching i hope you like this video and uh stay tuned for the next one